that tire, Yashi is not the uh, the simpler form of the original meaning. The original meaning is Niyashowa. Or by whether the other at that time of history was trying to reduce the influences of the Aegean. In one of our classes, we talked about the Aegean, the Uzama. So the Oba Ewedo at that time was trying to reduce the power of the Aegean. So he created a title called Niya Sowa. That's a pure Benin word, which is now abridged as Iyase. So, and the first person that was made, the first man that was made the first Iyase of Benin, uh, his name is called Odigye Olomi. He was the head of the royal army that defeated the recalcitrant Ogyamie warriors. So he was the one who led. After that victory, Obana created. The Iyase is the first title that was created by any Oba. So that is why Iyase is so powerful that no Oba wants to make Iyase hereditary. Because in the first place, the Oba Ewedo was trying to reduce the influences of the Uzama chiefs or the Aegean. I have said in our class that they are not chiefs. So that is why he now created a very powerful title called the Yase. Yase, if you understand Benin Kingdom, Benin Kingdom is divided into two. This grossly. The Benin, oh, like the, what you now call the Benin city, the heart of the kingdom. Is divided into two. Obe, Oinohua. Historically, the Oba presides over Obe. Then why the Yase, um, enabled by the Oba Benin, presides over Oinohua. So that is why historically, the Yase is giving the traditional power to argue or disagree publicly. With the Oba of Benin. Traditionally, the Yase has a power. So the, the title of the Yase is very powerful. That is why uh, some generally people refer to him as the Prime Minister of Benin Kingdom. So Oba Gaze, after the Oba, every other person. Amongst every other chiefs or a high the the highest among these titled chiefs or a high is Iyase. So Niyasowa is a pure Benin word. So, the word Iyase is a word that was created by the. It is a word that was created. It's, you know, the Ishekiris were trying to differentiate the Bini Yase from the Ishekiri Yase. That is Wari Kingdom. So they added T and arrow E to the original word. Just like the original Bini word is Olobose. O L O G B O S E. O O O L O G B O S E is a real spelling for Olubose, but presently some people now add R O E. All right, uh -huh. just like uh, the Ishekiris also add R O E, but it's from the original Benin word Olubose, O L O G B O S E. In one of our subsequent class, I will tell you how that word came. It came from the word Olobo Ogiyase. It's another title. It, 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 that story happened during or by Aken Buddha. How that title came mm -hmm. of Olobo Se. The present day Yase is from um, Chief Samingbe. It's ancestrally from Ogboka. If you don't know Ogboka, Ogboka is at present day Sokbomba. If you pass area, the next community after area is Ogboka community where Sam Loko Efe came from. 
this present here say is ancestrally from Oboka, but he uh, is maternally from a uh, Wodobian. Is it a Wodobian? I knew he grew up at Avugo. Uh, uh, I knew you grew up at Avugo because I'm quite close. I'm very, not quite, I'm very close to the present Yasser of Benin. So I know his story very well. I know his ancestrally from Ogboka. He has Ogboka, from Ogboka, Ashokwamba. But he, his ancestors left to Ewo Beme. Which community? Ewega, yes. Is it Ewega, yes. Left a long time to Ewega, but he grew up at Avugo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so that's where he's ancestrally. Uh, that's where Kenya Yanyi, but it's ancestrally from Ogboka. Ogboka. This is village of town. Iase from. So Iase does not have a particular village because it's rotated. If the present Iase passes on, the Oba selects Iase from whoever he wants to select from. Can be from Ovi, can be from Oredo, can be from anywhere. It is the prerogative of the Oba Abinin to choose his Iyase from wherever he wants Iyase to come from. Before this Iyase, this Iyase cannot be said that he's from Oriomo, basically. But the Iyase before this Iyase is um, Iyase Wodao. That Iyase is from Ovi. Uh, quite a lot of Iyase, but most Iyases are from present day Oredo. Yeah, most Iyases are from. Present day. And we have some that came from Ika. Uh, the Yase of Obaru was from present day Delta State. Yase is not a word, it's a statement. Yase does not have a means, it's a statement. Yase is an abridged uh, meaning of a statement. A statement. Niyasowa. That is a statement that Obaya Wedo gave. He was trying to tell the Ejon that he created a title to, to surpass them. So Iyase means like someone created to be above the other. Niya sowa. Iyonona sowa. Like I have used this to surpass you. So and that word became a title that was given to someone. Which is now called abridged as Iyase. Mm. I, I will not be able to talk about the story of... Um, Agbono Maibo or Mawangwe. Agbono Mawangwe or Maibo. Is it uh, is it is a parable in Benin? Agbon no Mawangwe or Maibo. The 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 original Mawangwe's and the Eribo they were blood brothers. They were blood brothers. Obira will be in the first Eribo and Mawangwe. So who happened? It was your Mawangwe that did something that was remarkable during the reign of Obayen Buddha. So because of that, when Obayen Buddha wanted to bless Uwangwe, he also blessed his younger brother. So I don't know how to do that. That will be another story. That will be another story. Why do we have um that's a story everything was replicated that's another story not two years here yes yes of udo that was replicated i will explain when i talk about the udo the history of udo then i'll be able to tell you why there is also an ERC. there's one where there are titles a lot of titles in benin yes and udo udo is a community inside benin kingdom udo is a community or a town inside Benin Kingdom. The Iyase presides over Udo. Its jurisdiction goes only within Udo. So, but the Iyase of Benin jurisdiction is within Benin Kingdom. So that should that should explain who is bigger, who has more authority. Iyase of Udo is restricted only to Udo. That is why it's called Iyase Nudo. Then you now have ears of Benin Kingdom. That should is a straightforward answer, sir. 
the asset of Benin should Udo is a community or is a town under Benin Kingdom. So and one preside over a town and one pres and one is the Yase of the entire Benin Kingdom. Only say that Yase do ya. Uh -huh. so you should understand what that means. There are other towns, there are other there are EAS, there are different ASS, but every other ASS had their offshoots from Benin Kingdom. Alright? So so you should the EAS of Benin Kingdom should take precedence. I'm not saying that the EAS there is a like the old war kingdom in Delta State, they also have a asset. There are quite some kingdoms in Ika, all those um Ika speak Ika areas of Delta that their kingdom has a Yase as a title. Some has a Daiken as well. And hence so but that shows the ancestral correlation between all these people and Benin. So uh, most of them got those words as become integral part of their title. Mm. I know now. Yes. Those, I know there's a Yase, Yasele of Esa land. Yeah. Those are, those, they are different Yases, but what I have said, that they are offshoots, they drew their, their, that word, they drew that word from Yasowa. Udo only had one in Nogi which was Aruan. After which, when Aruan was defeated, title was created for, two titles were created, Iyase of Udo and Uwango of Udo. Should in case any Iyase gives a problem or sees himself as the Ola overland of Udo, it is the prerequisite of the Oba of Benin to remove, to strip that power and give it to Uwango. I'm sure you are not aware of all that. So it's just like a nogi of a community. That's how the Yas of Udo also is. He's the overlord of Udo. Alright? And he answers only to the Oba of Benin. Just like the Yasser of Benin is also answers to the Oba of Benin. So these are we shouldn't um, what I have said, I didn't say that the Yas of Udo is lesser than the Yasser of Benin, but I'm always say hierarchically, when you are talking about the hierarchies of cheese or, or titled people, after the Oba is a traditional prime minister now, which is the Yasser. So I would do Rototo and all that. So that's what I'm saying. So that shouldn't be a, a conflict, a conflict. So they all have their jurisdiction, they all have their power, they all have my... <laughs>